In this video I was just going to talk about using the grid lines on the Panasonic GH6 and these can be really useful for composition and the, the good thing about them is that they're available in both photo and video so you can kind of use them to position elements in your in your frame so if we come into the camera we'll jump into menu sorry let me just grab focus so if we jump into menu and then we can jump into the cog or the gear icon and then we're jumping into the first camera icon so that's the monitor display photo menu and then under there we've got photo grid line and like i say you know if um if you switch these on they will work across the mode so what, what we can do is we'll just jump in and we'll put on a basic grid onto there so you can see we've got the grid there i'll keep the um i'll keep the lens cap on just so you can kind of see the grid against the back it's uh, against uh, sorry against the black it's probably a little bit um a bit faded but you should just be able to see it so i'm in the i'm in the movie mode if i jump into manual you can see they're still there or even into shutter priority or, or something like that they're still kind of there so we can jump across the modes and the the photo mode the photo grids just kind of stay on there uh, so if we jump back we, we've got a couple of options so we've got options for um, a kind of standard grid a diagonal grid and the bottom one is a custom grid so I mean this isn't kind of a theory on how to how to use grid lines but essentially you know they're there so you can do things like um, you can position say your horizon along the um, along the grid line or you can use the intersecting points in the line so the ones around the middle box uh, they can be used to sort of place um, you know elements of interest or the main part of the photo that's uh, essentially that's theoretically the, the most aesthetically pleasing to kind of add something like that into the shot so you've kind of got the um, you've got your center point you've got your intersecting lines you can uh, you know put horizons and things into where you want to it, you know it's all just kind of guidance so ultimately you decide how you want your photos to look and you can follow that or not follow it but it's quite useful to um, you know have the grid lines there to kind of see um, and this can be a really useful thing to use with the um, with the level gauge which we've covered in another video so I'll, I'll link that up in the corner but the um, this sort of in um, in tandem with the level gauge can be really useful for kind of improving composition of shots and yeah like I say it, it, it's a guide but it, it's um, it's a useful one and you've got uh, you've got the option to use this one as well which will give you um, the it will give you a, a grid with more um more kind of intersecting lines in it so you've got more um you've you've got more to kind of play with there you've got um it, you could work maybe more with this you could you, you can work more with kind of symmetry and uh, the the diagonal lines can be used to kind of create motion in shots and things so you've got quite a lot of points there that you can sort of work in between so that's that's quite nice to have and my my kind of favorite one on the photo grid lines is you can actually come into this third one and uh this is great this one because it's um if you roll the uh sorry if you do the joystick left and right you can move that one or if you do it up and down you can move that one there and if you go to the diagonals it will move them both together if you can <laughs> if you can kind of lock it in and you can just reset them how you want and you can also just touch on the screen and they'll just go wherever you want so you know if you've got a point of interest that sort of sits in a specific place you can you can kind of jump down and pick that and um what i tend to use these for is um if i'm kind of if i'm shooting something i want it to look the same um occasionally i'll use things like sheer overlay again we, we covered that in another video so i'll link to that up in the corner but um, it, these can be really handy for things like that. So say, for example, uh, you're doing a few interview shots and they're spread out across a few different people and you've moved the camera and tripod and you just want to try and get it roughly back how it was. You can um, you can use things like this to sort of say, OK, well, I set them about this far off the, the side of the frame um, and then you, you can kind of sit them somewhere near that. And you can also <laughs> it probably help if I use the uh, use the joystick, actually. And then you you could say you know i've given them this much headroom from the top and then you'll be able to replicate that shot sort of a bit more accurately and i tend to shoot in higher resolutions anyway so i can crop into things if i need to in post because it just gives you that little bit more kind of uh, scope to change things but 
doing this I know I'm going to get a much more accurate accurate shot than if I just did it with my eye because this is obviously <laughs> much much more accurate than me just guessing so it's um yeah it can be really useful and the good thing about them you know I, I don't tend to have them on all the time but I do I will use them from reference so what I've done on mine is um I use the front button and when you click on it, it will just come up with the options for grid lines. And again, um, I've done a video on uh, shortcuts like that. So I'll link that up in the top. But um, yeah, it can be really handy, you know, so you can just toggle them on. And then when you don't want them, just hit the button and you can you can just flick them off again. And uh, like I said, they're, they're really useful to just kind of have there as a, like a nice shortcut for reference. So yeah, hopefully that's been helpful. If it has, give the video a like. Um, if you want to see more content about the Panasonic GH6, then please check out the playlist on this channel and uh, please subscribe.